Hey guys, some good news from Canada. The government here has introduced a new Atlantic immigration program that's set to start in 2022. So if you have your eyes set out to move to Canada, you might want to stick with me until the end as we find out the details. This is Shaz on the Move and on this channel I discuss matters, travel and Currently running a series on moving abroad, so if moving abroad is something of interest to you, you want to consider subscribing and turning on the notification button so that you don't miss any video updates. Now let's get into this. The official site for the Canadian government has just released uh, some information on the permanent Atlantic immigration program to attract workers and drive economic growth. How cool is that? This was released on 17th December 2021. They say that immigration is vital to the future of communities across the country, nowhere more so than Atlantic Canada. Over the past few years, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot has brought and retained thousands of newcomers to the region, and these new Canadians have helped communities thrive, businesses prosper, and the region's population grow. So building on the success of the pilot, the Honorable Sean Fraser, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, announced the launch of the Atlantic Immigration Program. So this new permanent program will officially open on January 1st of 2022 helping the Atlantic provinces attract then skilled newcomers they need to address economic and demographic challenges such as labor shortage in the region. It was originally launched in 2017 and it has brought over 10,000 new permanent residents to Canada. Participating employers have made over 9,800 job offers in key sectors including healthcare, accommodation, food services and manufacturing and most significantly over 90% of applicants were still living in the region after one year with a much higher retention rate than other programs. So the permanent program retains the three features that made the pilot a success which was a focus on employers, enhanced settlement support, and a collaborative approach across all the Atlantic provinces. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada and the Atlantic provinces worked closely together to design the permanent program based on lessons learned and recommendations from the pilot evaluation. And the changes include clarifying roles between the partners, increasing employer support through the training and strengthening program requirements to ensure newcomers can successfully establish themselves in the region. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada is working closely with employers and provincial governments to secure a smooth transition between the pilot and the permanent program. Candidates with valid endorsement can begin submitting applications for permanent residence under the new program from March 6, 2022. So you see, it's not really far off. Start preparing your documents right now if you're interested in this program. And uh, here are some quotes from uh, some people in notable in government. Over the past few years, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot has made an incredible difference in communities across the region. It has brought us resources we need most. More people, they are skilled, they, they are young, and they are staying. Now we are doubling down to what works by making it permanent so we can continue attracting the best and brightest to our region and build a vibrant and prosperous future for Atlantic Canada. And Nova Scotia is also preparing for its next chapter of strategic growth and their goal of reaching 2.2 million people by 2060. The Atlantic Immigration Program is one innovative option that will help focus on their specific labor needs and they are glad that the government of canada is making sure that the program is here to stay so those are some of the quotes from uh, people in government from the various provinces in canada so these are the quick facts 
about this program as part of Canada's Atlantic Growth Strategy. Their pilot aims to accelerate the growth of the Atlantic Canada's economy and was designed to test new approaches to attract and retain skilled migrants into the region. It responded to the region's acute demographic and economic challenges, including slow growth, chronic labor markets, shortages, and an aging workforce and difficulty attracting and retaining immigrants. With at least 6,000 admission spaces available yearly, the Atlantic Immigration Program will complement the provincial nominee programs in each Atlantic province. So in 2018 to 2019, the Atlantic provinces saw their highest population growth since the 70s with immigration, including from the pilot, being the main driver of this trend and the regulations for the permanent Atlantic program come into force on January 1st, 2022. So this is the current information about this in immigration program. So keep it here. I shall be giving you more updates from 1st of January, 2022, as we look at how this program is going to play out, the eligibility criteria, which NOC occupations will be opening up, and um, how to apply. But of course, as I keep reminding you, if you're planning to go to Canada, get your education credentials assessed first before a Canadian employer can even start thinking about or considering employing you. And see you in the next video.